I asked Craig Campbell back in January to give me some advice on what he thought the next steps were for me and my career. And he said that I should start attending these different conferences and meetups where I get to talk to people who are a little bit ahead of me in my career. So when the affiliate gathering come up, I sent him a message and asked him what he thought of it. And he said to me, this is one that's definitely worth going to. So I booked that and I booked the fringe events as well. And I thought it'd be a good opportunity to make a little video just for others in my scenario who want to know what to expect at this sort of thing. And so I thought I'd just share my experiences. The first day was the mastermind groups and we were basically split up into groups of about six and we all went round one by one and shared what it is that we're working on right now and what it is we're trying to achieve with it. And then everyone else sort of just piped in and gave their opinion on it with some different ideas. I didn't really have anything specific to ask, but I gained quite a lot from listening to the problems other people were having and then listening to the solutions that were being suggested to that. A lot of these guys were quite a bit ahead of me. So I was actually learning more by just listening to what they were saying. And it's one of them situations really where you don't know what you don't know. So when it come to my turn, I had a lot of questions on the stuff they was talking about because it was stuff that I hadn't heard about before. And so that worked out really quite well for me. What was good about this setup is it wasn't actually just one expert per table. So in my table, for example, I had Jamie IF on my left and Mad Singers on my right. I thought that worked really well because you had a couple of like high level opinions on every table. There was a lot of really high level people there actually. So on some of the other tables, there was Jason Mills, Nina Clapperton, James Dooley, Niche Site Lady was there. There was a couple of other people I recognised as well. I never actually got to meet all of those people, but that was my fault really, because I stayed on the same table. I think in hindsight, maybe I should have moved around a bit, because after a set period, they said, right, everyone can move about, but I didn't want to miss what was going on on my table, because it was quite an interesting conversation that was going on. So although a few people did come over, there was still a lot of those people that I never actually got to go and talk with. Anyway, after the mastermind was done, I got to speak to Nina for a while about the Facebook strategies that she's using for niche websites. And I won't go into the specifics here because you can find that on her channel. It is something that I'm going to look at getting our team to start doing with our sites going forward. So after that was the two meetups that we had that were held in two different pubs. I spent most of Nina's meetup speaking to guys who were running Facebook ad accounts. And on the surface, if you follow me and what I do, you might think that's not really relevant. But it did lead me to a couple of ideas that I'm going to be combining with what I was talking to Nina about earlier. Then we went straight over to Craig's meetup, which to be honest was the part that I was most looking forward to in the build up to this. Because I've been watching Craig for a long time. I've booked a few consultancy calls with him over the past three or four years. And I've always found his advice to be really good. And actually a lot of stuff I learned from Craig is what helped me get to where I am now career-wise. So I was really excited about that one. Meeting up with him was really good. It was good because I got a lot of really, really good advice on some very specific things that I was asking him. But it was also just really good to meet the man in person as well after all this time watching him and talking to him for a video call, getting to meet him in person, shake his hand and stuff. Really enjoyed the whole thing there. So yeah, overall, I really enjoyed the first day and I got a lot out of it. And when I come back here, I couldn't sleep for ages because I had so much on my mind. And I was just writing loads of notes and trying to make a lot of videos for myself, notes to self about different stuff that had been discussed. And um, I got a really late night and then I had to be up relatively early for the next day when I went to the actual main event. Now they had a really good lineup of speakers and there weren't anyone there who didn't really have something to offer. And the thing that really stood out to me about it, right, was that before the event, I was thinking to myself, eight hours is probably going to be a, a pretty long time to just sit and listen to people talk. But it felt like a couple of hours. It really went so fast. It was ridiculous. When it was over, it was a little bit like, although I felt knackered, it was a bit like hard to believe that it was all over. And I think that's because when you're talking or listening to something that you're genuinely interested in, time doesn't drag. It goes really fast. And they had speakers there talking about, you know, Keyword research, technical SEO, using social media for traffic, email marketing, YouTube, different monetization strategies that most people don't really talk about. And what I liked about this is that all of that was very specific for niche websites. And I could see how that I could directly apply those strategies to my websites. When I get the recordings through, though, I do need to go back and listen to some of them again, because there was a lot of times where they'd say something and then I'd be thinking about how we could apply that to our sites and then they'd have moved off that point and gone to another thing. And I know I've missed a lot of stuff there. And that was good really, because that kept the pace quite fast. Anyway, so after the main event was over, I had a quick lay down and then I decided to push myself to go to the after party, even though I was absolutely knackered. And I'm pleased I did because I had some really 
good important conversations there and in terms of my business the three that really stood out to me speaking to mads about an email campaign that i'm trying to set up and he gave me an actual outline for the sort of emails to send and in what order then he gave me some book recommendations as well on management that i'll be going through when i get back home another really good conversation was with emma bradley and what she was showing me is how she sells guest posts on her website without it ruining the quality of her website so you know how sometimes you go on a website and there'll be like out of context content in the middle of an article and it's obvious that it's done for a link or maybe there'll be a article about something totally random on the website and it's so obvious that they're selling links and she's doing it a different way that I thought was quite clever. Um, the other thing that was really good I got from her was she was showing me how that she's actually promoting content on social media uh, to get traffic from Facebook for example which is something I never really understood before but I want to start playing around a little bit with now because it looks pretty good. And um, there was actually more stuff than that. And you know what? It's worth checking her out if you don't know who she is and you're into niche sites because she's doing a lot of stuff I've not heard other people talk about. And then I had another good conversation with Nina about the Facebook groups method that she was talking about in her presentation. I got quite a lot out of this conversation as well because I was able to have a bit of time to think about all of this, take into account all the things other people were saying from earlier and then check my understanding with her and get a perspective on going down a certain route with it. So overall, I was quite impressed with the whole event and everything that I learned. I think it was well worth having a few days off and I'm looking forward to now having a bit of time where I can start putting some of this stuff together and um, get my team into it. I think that if you're someone who's like me that's done a lot in SEO, that's not really learning much new stuff from courses and YouTube and stuff like that, this might actually be a good next step for you, like Craig said, for me. I'm pretty sure it was a good next step for me and I'll probably be at the next one. So maybe I'll see you there.